visual approaching you, landing and departing runway 19er. Notice this airman shelf air ramp closed between taxiways Gulf 5 and Gulf 6. Runway 14 mall decommission. IFR departure device ground control for taxi at your IFR. Read back all runway hold short instructions. Read back all runway assignments. Read back all altitude assignments. Advisor public tower on initial contact that you have information. Quebec. Okay, Quebec. For a full stop ready to talk for the active. 5562 with your public ground runway 19 taxi by Bravo cross runway 1432. I have your request. Taxi to runway 19. We have Bravo public ground. Cherokee 4300. Republic ground. This is November. This is Cherokee. November 4308. Request Cherokee. Request to take off. Yeah, this is Cherokee. Around the 4300. You got to speak up. All right. One two three one two three one two. You sure? Two three seven. There we go. How's the volume there? Much better. Okay. Put it up there. Five seven. Five seven. Five seven. Okay. Republic ground. This is Piper. November 4308. 4308. Zero. Oh, it says zero. Uh, Zero, information, ready echo, taxi. information echo, like ready to, to taxi, shelter, southeast departure. Republic Crown, this is November 43080, requesting taxi, shelter, air, uh, echo. echo. I246, Republic Crown, follow the Cessna, runway 1907. Follow the Cessna, runway 1907, 524, Quebec. And release. There you go. Mega left. Nice and easy. Call ground. Okay, he was asking who's calling, so you can say call Cher again. Cherokee 4300, calling ground. Cherokee 4380, calling back. Okay, where are you parked? Shelter, ready to taxi echo. Shelter, air, ready to taxi echo. 4300, taxi over 19 Gulf 5. 19 Gulf 5. 19 Gulf 5. 19 Gulf 5. 080. 080. Okay, here in Republic, you got to read behind the track. Right to the West Taxi Atlantic. Have a good night. So, I'm going to open up a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta. Much nicer, huh? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Where, where am I going, Thera? We're gonna go straight ahead, right between hey, that check and the ground. That Cherokee taxi landing. Good night. To the left, and it's Gulf Five, which is right here. You see, runway one nine or Gulf Five. Watch the right cones on the left. Cones. See over there. Make a right. Okay. Throttle back. So, see over here, runway 19 go 5. Yep, that's your runway. Are we stopping short? We're going to hold short of runway. Can okay. you take it from go 5? You need full length. Are you taking go 5? Roger, 409 taxi, runway 19 to go 5. Yeah, oh, 409 to go 5. Alright, now we're going to run up the engine. Republic Tower, Cessna 2 and 3 4, number 1 at Bravo, ready for takeoff. Yeah, that's your checklist. 4, 3, 9, 4, hold short. Holding short, 3, 9, 4. Okay. 3, 7, Gulf, the Cessna is following at 12 o'clock and a mile and a quarter. Break. This is the parking brake. We're going to go to set it. Fuel is on the fullest tank, right tank. Trim set it for takeoff, right there. Do it for the last hour. Flight controls. 4, 7, 6, 6, 7, Roger. I'll have a signal to the left. Make sure that goes up. Stay down with the right. That one goes up. Up and down. Horizontal stabilizer going up and down and rotor. Avionic panel test mixture is rich. Throttle 2000. All right, two clicks to the left. Click, click. Check the drop, looking good. One click to the left. Check the drop, looking good. Suction is good. Alternator. Public suction. tower, it's at the 4975 golf. It's ready, golf 7. Good. Over to you. 75 golf, hold short at golf 7. Holy short, 4975 golf. Throttle. Idle, cover ready, heat is on. Off, back to 1004 takeoff. Max are at both. Primer's in unlocked. Mixture is rich. Carburetor ready, heat is off. Flight engine. Yeah, we're going final one nine minutes. Good. Seven, 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 windows seven, are closed. And we're takeoff checklist. Six, eight, seven, I will call you back. All right, we're going to call power now. Make sure final is clear. There's one guy coming up on final. You see that Cessna over there? Yep. Got to wait for him to land and then give him a call. Okay. Republic Tower, right? Now we're talking to Tower. Republic Tower, Cherokee 43080, holding short of runway 19er, Gulf 5. We're ready for takeoff, southeast departure. You know, you can give him a call. This way he knows you're here. Might as well. Republic Tower, this is November 43080, holding short one, uh, runway 19, G5. Did you Republic Tower, hold short. Holding short. Make sure you have to extend you up when you're following traffic at your uh, 1 to 2 o'clock in the right down with 1,300 feet. Roger that, 
I don't want it to okay, fly forward. <laughs> uh, let's keep an eye to the right. Nobody's out there. Looks There's like one more. Gone. One plane coming in. Oh, yeah, one more. I guess we're going to wait a little bit. That tower for you and I are left there. That would have been bad. 687, uh, turn to uh, I'm still going this way. <laughs> Who's looking okay. for uh, left turn? Uh, 409 or try for. Uh, uh, try to plug on this side. You're not about to hold short side. behind the traffic of Gulf 5. Talk to us now. Talk to us now. Hey. No, yeah, he's not plugged. No, that headset. Okay, there it is. No, because what, what happened? That headset. I was going to try it out because I heard it was broken. Was it? Course, uh, three nine four runway one nine full length line. Was it connected to another? I'm going to wait there. No, the other one's broken. Your papa will call you back. Ah, looks like a Cessna coming in. The public tower, Piper, Archer, number five five six zero. Whiskey hole is short one nine. Nice landing, pretty short. Sure. Stop on the nine. As a couple of more guys over there, you see, mm -hmm. coming from the departure end. Yeah. We're kind of further down the runway, so we're going to wait for them. I guess they called for taxi earlier. So far, uh, three, uh, seven golf wing parking. Still there. Still there with me. Uh, a little bit of pressure. Yeah. Still they clear. Four, make uh, right uh, traffic clear for takeoff. Oh, nice with right traffic clear for takeoff. Uh, three looks nice with the Make that fall in traffic off your right and then cross one. Thank you. Go. Traffic in sight. Thank you. Yeah. Line up the wait. Tell him, line up the wait. Lining up the wait. Zero zero. Zero eight zero. Now line up the wait if you want to take the runway. Yeah, every time they call you, you gotta say what they tell you and then repeat your call sign. So he's here for Mike here, public count for present position at the left face from my one eye. He's got clear for takeoff a little bit. Now let's just line up the wait. Hold on. This is just line up the wait. So we're gonna hold up here. Take three out for Roger Clay Bay. And wait. And line up the wait. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, zero zero. Clear for takeoff, zero zero. Clear for takeoff, zero zero. Okay, good. Full throttle. Hand on the throttle. Hand on the throttle. There you go, left hand on the oak. Zero nine, nine line up away at runway one nine go five. Four zero nine are one waiting for you, there are one nine. Let me know what uh, uh, look, look at the push speed. Push by You're ready to go. Nice and easy back pressure, right rotor, right rotor, right rotor. Oops. Four seven six eight seven clear. There you go. Good. Uh, uh, six, six, eight, seven, low okay, low. Nice. Oh, good. It's gonna stay in the pattern to a couple of these uh, low pushes. So I make right traffic. Southeast departure, right? Seven. Yeah, we're gonna keep it straight ahead eight. towards uh, sunrise, and then we're gonna turn left towards the southeast. Four zero nine, clear for takeoff, make left traffic. Four zero nine, clear for takeoff, left traffic. One zero, pop, turn your base. Turning base, see the bubble. It's a little bumpy up here. Not too bad. Could be worse. <laughs> Traffic is uh, in the upwind, uh, it's going to make a left traffic there, he's just departing. Okay, he's talking about us. Okay. Let go of the control, let's see what the trim's doing, let go. Okay, a little bit of nose up, you feel the nose up? Wait, mm -hmm. Jason, actually pop right okay, now you're good. Okay, now you're good. This is a southern state right below us. Next one is Sunrise. Keep going straight. 304, right down with you. Still uh, climbing? Yep, still climbing. Or Mike Echo down one, left down one, right down one. Actually, you're going to follow the king here on the left face north of the LA. How's the seat? Is it too low or you can see pretty good? Clear, uh, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 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 clear for takeoff. Now he's up here right now on the left base. I just asked if we have a wolf out. But make that call quite big. Maybe 120 is better. Uh, tower 687, sorry, was that 120 right or 150? Yeah, 120. 120 is uh, right towards the affirmative. Look out there, you see right Capture Bridge? Yeah, that's a good heading. Grand and four, right traffic, follow the Cessna. Grand and four, you're right behind the Cessna. Affirmative, Grand and four. One tier pop, clear to land. Where's the lady today? Home. Home sweet home, huh? Uh, she didn't want to go far here anymore. Oh, really? That bad, huh? Not for her. Wow, not for Secure her. Secure whiskey runway 1-9 full length cliff to take off. Yeah, she's not going to go no more. Man, she said I tried it. I didn't like it. Not for me. Not for her. Secure whiskey, 
you want to extend down, you going to stay in the pattern. Extend it upwind in the pattern. You like it, though. I'll let you know when you want to turn crosswind. You like it. Uh, upwind, up, upwind, upwind. Hey, Roger, let me know when you want to turn crosswind. Roger that. Well, Mike, can you go follow the Cessna ahead? Oh, Mike, I can. Mike, here, clear to land. Oh, that's Mike, here. Are you calling traffic for me, please? Sure, he's, uh... All right, we got a little off at 2500. Let's right go now, towards, no um... Yeah, no see the edge where the bridge cap, like it's a little... Towards the end of the bridge. Exactly, that's perfect target. We're gonna go straight down that direction and we're gonna level off at 2,500. We got Kennedy traffic Pick right up there. Right. Is he up there? Uh, we're already on the downwind. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, you are clear to touch and go. Yes, I can go to three off. Well, Mike Echo, you can turn your base. Well, Mike Echo, turn your base. 687, you see the Cessna turning base ahead? 687, looking. Let's see your papa, we think let's land on it one night. Let's see your papa, you are clear to land. Let's land, see your papa. Set level over 2500, yeah? Yep, 2500. 409, I will call your base. Alright, 409, the tower will call my base. Thank you. Great, zero for exchange proof. Zero, 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 zero for exchange proof. Um, thank you. I know your focus is about flying, but when you're still in the traffic environment, which is Roger, Roger. the Delta Airspace, Republic Roger. Airport, it's good to listen to. Because what he I said is, if we can change the route, that means you need to read it back. Yeah, okay, no okay, if we can change the route. Alright, if we can change the route means we clear out of Cloud Delta, so we actually lower the volume. You're coming up on your level off altitude. Let's go ahead and level off. Roger, 45 whiskey heavy. Set to maintain 2,000. Set to maintain altitude 2,000. Set to 45 whiskey heavy. Airfield 102 heavy, turn left. Heading 270. Set to maintain 5,000. I always get to confuse if we're pulling up without me touching the throttle. Heavy turn left heading. Do I push that? The, the, best, the best thing to do it is actually not touch the trim at all. Okay. And then fly the airplane to your target altitude. That means right now it wants to go down, we're going to push the nose down. Okay. And we're going to level off at our cruising altitude. Now, try to apply that pressure correction you need to maintain your altitude. Okay. You feel like you need forward pressure on the yoke to maintain altitude? You feel like the airplane no. wants to go up? Yeah, I feel like it does. So I feel? Okay. Yeah. Now all you have to do is go on the control wheel here for the trim and relieve and those control pressures. Going forward. forward. That's right. Go forward. Exactly. Uh, the nose wants to go up. We're going to go a little bit to the right. Stay away from Fast Charlie. Ice slip. About 20, 30 degree right. Just roll down. And you can go ahead and throttle back so you don't over rev this. Yeah, throttle back to about 2,500 RPMs, a good target. Express 94, ready RPMs on the heading. RPMs right here. 3,000. Okay. Well, Express 94, we're going to get parallel charge. We're heading uh, 0, 4, 0. Heading 0, 4, 0. Let me know if you like this airplane better than the other, you know, whatever. Six miles from Russia, you maintain. Oh, we're going to go left now, follow the coastline. Yeah, we're going to left approach. Sorry, heading 26, maintain 2000 till established in that the odd 15 left, 34, 5 weeks. Beautiful day. A little hazy. Uh, take off checklist, fuel pump is off, check for pressure, fuel pressure is on the green, landing lights off. Uh, take off checklist is complete. Want to try a couple of steep turns? We could do this, yeah, I, I would love to. I don't want, want, you, don't want you to get dizzy or sick, so let me know. Let's do whatever maneuvers you think I should do. 0 maintain 1, 2,000. Alright, sounds like a plan. Steep turn, left or right? 
down, well one out of one. one. Your discretion. Okay, I have a new checklist, so what do I have to look at here in terms of uh, knowing it's how to a do visual, it? Right. It's a visual maneuver. Okay. You're looking outside, you're maintaining the nose of the aircraft right on the horizon as you're turning. It's a high performance maneuver. You know if the turn is steep enough when you have overbanking tendencies, which means the aircraft is going to tend to bank further yeah, than your angle speed of bank. Zero, okay. then I'm going to maintain 2,000. Speed I'll speed follow you in the controls on the first one, all right? Okay. Put your right hand on the throttle. You good back there? I'm good. Do I throttle down when I turn like that? Three zero zero. No. Keep the throttle in there. Actually, we have to throttle up to keep the level zero. To keep the level, because as we're turning, we're losing airspeed. We have to maintain 100 knots on the airspeed, so we have to do that. All right. Let's do one to the right. You ready? Head on the throttle. Let's roll the airplane into a steep turn to the right as you're going through 30 degrees at full throttle, all the way in there. All the way in there. Don't be shy. All the way. Very nice. This is about 45 degree angle of bank. Look outside. Put the nose of the airplane right on the horizon. I'm letting it go now. And I want you to maintain that bank. You're showering the bank a little bit. You get it back to steep. About 45 degrees right there. See? It requires back pressure on the yoke to maintain your altitude. Uh-huh. See, with the one hand, it's a little difficult. You can, after you get the power in there. Okay, now we're going to throttle back. That's your shoreline, and we're all out. Just like zero, five miles from us, you mean change. It is difficult with one hand. Yeah. After you set the power, you can take both hands and fly the two. Okay. Let's try one more time for the left. Up to you. One more to the left. With Express 994 Heavy, you do speed out of 160 or not, and kind of Kennedy Tower, 119.1. Hello. Speed 1 at speed 160. Very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. You got the touch. Get that nose up. Don't let the altitude go down. 102 Heavy to set and maintain 2. Beautiful. Get that back pressure. This is really nice. Keep turning. Alright, coming off on the coastline, we're going to roll the wings level, a little bit further, and throttle back as necessary to maintain our altitude and our head speed. There you go. This wasn't bad. How much altitude did I lose? Did you see this guy? Yeah. How much did I lose though? You're supposed to be plus or minus 100 feet for your check ride. You didn't lose much. You lost maybe 20, 30 feet. So it's not so bad, right? No. He's asking if it's not so bad. 20, 30 feet, <laughs> awesome. Uh, I think this is the second time or first time you're doing this? Yeah, oh, yeah. Just Monday, 4 heavy, time for the Kennedy Cowboy 1 out of 21. So long. Woo! I feel a little yeah. woozy, though, when you do that. Yeah, no? you get a little, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Do we get it? You know yeah. why? Because, uh... Our body's you're not increasing, it. yeah, it's okay, but you're increasing the load factor on the airplane, so you feel heavier. It's not that the airplane's heavier, it just makes you feel yeah, heavier. Gravity. Oh, gravity, exactly, you get it closer, exactly. All right, there are. All right, let's see if you can do slow flight. Slow flight is another uh, private yeah, pilot zero, maneuver that you need to know. Seven, zero. It's basically a simulation of what the aircraft does when you're approaching and landing and taking off. It's minimum controllable airspeed, okay? You're not cruising at 100 miles an hour, 200 miles an hour. You're cruising at 50 or 60, which is much slower, all right? I want to talk to you through the maneuver, see how you do the maneuver. And if you do well, you do it all by yourself. You ready? Yeah. Put your right hand on the throttle. We're going to reduce the throttle to 1,500 RPM. This is the RPM yeah, gauge right there. Station air tango, right. India Bravo, to Charlie with you at 5,000. Station tango, so India Bravo, tango, tango. Oh, we're 1,500. Customer Kennedy 3020, we are clear. The area is clear. Pre-maneuver so check is complete. I mean, no, no traffic on the TCAS. I want you to take your right hand, reach for the flaps. What's the flaps? Flaps are right there. Oh. And extend them nice and slow while looking outside at the shoreline all the way to 40 degrees. Oh, 40 degrees is all the way up? All the way up till you hear the last click. Nice and easy. Beautiful. Look outside. As the nose come up, apply forward pressure. Very, very nice. 
maintain your altitude. More, more, more. And you see how you're drifting right? Get back to the shoreline, look outside, and hold that shoreline. One more click. Don't be shy, one more click. And the last click. One more. This is 40 degrees of flaps. Maximum flaps. Look to your left on the wing. You see the flaps extended all the way. Yep. All right, now throttle back if necessary to hold about 60 miles an hour and not lose your altitude. As you can see, you lost about 200 feet. Try to maintain your altitude and maintain about 60 miles an hour. If the airplane slows down too much till you get the stall horn, you may have to add power as necessary to maintain your speed. Like so. A bit more back pressure. And you do have a trim wheel here if you feel like you need more back pressure and you're fighting the control. Relieve those control pressures with more back trim. There we go. A little bit more. Waiting for that stall horn. All right, more back pressure and more back pressure. Turn the control wheel, see how slow and mushy it is. I like it. You see? Yeah. This is slow flight. This is the difference oh, between... Definitely. Okay, that's a little bit too slow. We may have to add a little bit more power. You see, as you're getting way, way slow, you're actually losing so much airspeed that the, air, that the nose actually wants to drop. That means you have to add a little bit more power. There you go, that's four 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 Charlie Mike right leveling one two thousand with Kbeck. The four for one Charlie Mike. Let go of the controls. Okay, looks like the nose is still heavy. A little bit more back trim. Okay, heading to two five zero for one Charlie Mike. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and recover to cruise. What are we going to do? Full power, all the way in, throttle all the way in, and this down, and this one click. Full power first, full power, all in, don't be shy. All the way in. Throttle full, 25 degrees of flaps, get that positive rate of climb, and then slowly retract the flaps all the way to zero. All the way to zero. We'll do some landings. Okay, let's throttle back and make a left turn. Go down below 1500. Throttle back all the way to idle. All the way to idle. Don't be shy. I just, there you go. I'd like to he's do a it little, slowly. He's a little too gentle. And then throttle this way. See the marina over there? The little airport right there. So look like a little tributary exactly. coming out. Exactly, yeah, that's a good target right there. Let's see what kind of wind we have to deal with over there. Yeah, we're going to do right traffic for runway 18. Just fly towards that marina. By flying from this approach or the other one? Oh, uh, you're actually going straight toward the marina. Okay. See where the boat's going? Traffic, you got a banner for about 10 miles for you. for a banner drop, 1,000. We're going to go all the way down about 600 feet. You can add a little bit of throttle if you want. There you go. And let's go on the radio. Level off 600. And let's go on the radio and say, Bayport traffic, Bayport traffic, Cherokee traffic, over the marina, right traffic, runway 18, Bayport. Bayport traffic, Bayport traffic. This is November 43080 over the marina. Right traffic 18. Right traffic 18. Bayport. Bayport. Uh, it's an uncontrolled airport, okay? 
There is no control power. Quite a bit of throttle, back up to about 600. Get too slow, there you go. That means we self-announce our intentions to the other pilots if there is any other pilots on the field. Okay, you see the marina? You're going to overfly this marina. And then the river is going to split. It's going to split one side, left side. You take the right split. Follow the river to the right. Montauk traffic, helicopter, you may want to give it another notch of flap. Five feet northeast. No. 300 feet and below. Uh, we're going to transition along the shoreline to the west. Try to maintain about 90 knots. You're doing about 80, 75 or so, so it will require a little bit more throttle. Oh, we're at, we're at 90 there. Uh, this is oh, 80, 80, 80 yeah. a little bit more throttle. See how it's follow, you see the split on the right? Follow the split to the right. Let's take the right. Up the river. See that, up the river, exactly up the river. Perfect. Alright, throttle back and retrim for about 600 feet. See the altitude? It's supposed to be 600 feet. Excellent. Nice and gentle. Uh -huh. I'm going around this way. For You're going to just follow the river, and the airstrip is right off to your right. I saw it, yeah. You see the airstrip. Yeah. All right. Make a left here, go straight north, and Bayport traffic, Cherokee traffic, right down in, runway 18, Bayport. Bayport traffic, Bayport traffic, this is Cherokee, November 43080, runway 18, coming in from the north. Uh, no. let's, let's, let's assume that's okay. <laughs> let's go ahead and retract the flap, extend the flaps to full flaps and throttle back. We're a little high. Go a little bit to the left and then break it to the right. Keep coming down, though. Keep coming down. We're coming down for landing. Keep coming down. There you go. We're coming back for landing. All right. I'm so nervous. <laughs> All right. This is full flaps, right? Good. Okay. All right. We're going to go this way. I'm a little bit nervous. It's all right. <laughs> we were a little bit high, so I kind of helped you to get it back on track, all right? This is your runway. It's the one to the left. All right? Okay. It's a pretty short strip, so you have to be really, really tight on this one, all right? There you go. Looking good. Right side, left side? It's the left side of the runway. The right side has cones. Okay, you're looking good. Looking good. Keep coming down. Keep coming down. Don't be shy. Keep coming down. We're coming down for lane. Keep coming down. There. Can you put your hands on the control? I am helping you. Don't worry. Keep coming down. We're coming down for landing. Keep coming down. Keep coming down. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Now hold it. Hold it. Hold it more. A little bit more. Hold it. Hold it. That's it. Beautiful landing. Nice. That was a greaser, yeah. isn't it? Oh, I was freaked out at the beginning with the run in this, uh, well, that, 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 that turn always. That turn be was pretty slow down the throttle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were, we were pretty high, and that's why, one, uh, one click, only one click down. There you go, just one click. I want okay, you to keep the, <laughs> Yeah, we need to turn a few more times, it's You got to keep the momentum, because, uh, oh my god. Because, <laughs> <laughs> just be careful because this is all on tape, so don't say something stupid. <laughs> Shit's going on YouTube. I don't know if it's going to go on. We'll Over there. We're going to have to, you know, make sure it's good. Okay, as you're going on the grass, you got to keep that back pressure on, um, on the yoke. This is your taxiway right there. Okay. The reason why you want to keep that back pressure is because you want to maintain that nose wheel off the grass as much as possible to prevent any damage from the rough terrain. I got you. Alright. A taxi all the way to departure end and then we'll do another takeoff. This is a perfect speed. This is excellent. Maybe throttle back a little bit. That's beautiful. We're going to go all the way to the end of that moat uh, taxiway. Then we're going to make a right and cross the runway and then make a left. Haven't been here in a while. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 
that's uh, that's one of those airports that you know one landing an hour is rush hour. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, the other ones are probably pretty packed right now, man. Right? Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna throttle back now, and we're gonna make a right. Be ready with the right rudder, no brakes, just push on the right rudder. Very nice, we're gonna cross that to the left, and then go left on the runway. Left? Yep. Excellent, we'll take all runway available here. Feel how the grass is kinda, takes effort to get off, you know? Okay, we're going to keep the momentum here, so we're going to barely use the brakes. So we're going to kind of help you with that turn. Left or right? It's going to go left and then right towards the departure ramp. Gotcha. All right? All right. So it's going to go this way and then this way. Maple driver, maple driver, Cherry, you try to take off from 1 8 to Bayport. I just made a radio call for you. Okay? It's going to be keeping the momentum in there. I'm helping you a little bit. Just like so. Off we go. Right, 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 right. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> All right. Keep that back pressure. Get that nose off the ground. All right. Keep that back pressure off the ground. Very nice. All right. As soon as the airplane wants to lift off, put it right back in ground effect. Okay. It's coming off the ground. Get right back to ground effect. Stay low to the ground, but don't touch the ground. Okay. Just like so. You ready? Yeah. You're doing it. Pull it. Not yet. Not yet. Go to speed up. What about now? Not yet, not yet, not yet. There's your speed. VY, just go ahead and climb. Off you go. Excellent, excellent takeoff. Very nice. Here, baby. Alright, go ahead and get that nose back down so you can see the ocean. Yeah, and the traffic. Right hand on the flaps. And retract the flaps nice and easy. Don't dump it. Just nice and easy. Push it down. Gonna get up to 500 feet and level off. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, tons. This, uh, this airplane has a very powerful engine. It's got a climb prop. I'm, I'm very shocked how quickly we got off the ground. Alright, there's your 500. Throttle back. To about 23, 2400 RPM and level off at 500 feet. There you go. You want to be able to see the horizon. Very nice. Want to try another one? Or well, one is enough to scare you. <laughs> I'll let you try another one. This one I'm not going to touch. You're going to do everything by yourself. You know what to do, though. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I like his honesty. No, I don't. I'm sure you avoid at least. <laughs> Okay, let's ask you a question. You remember how to follow the marina and the uh, yeah up the river? Yeah. That you remember. Just a little lower. Correct. Just a little lower. You remember that you want to have the runway off the right side. Yep. Okay. Very good. You remember that when you see the runway approach end, you got to throttle back and start coming down. You had a tendency to go up. You remember that. And you remember it's a right turn towards the runway, and the runway is to your left. It's like a hook. Very good. All right. That's your marina. I'll make the radios. This way there's less stress of doing the radios and flying. You can just do the flying only, so it's much easier for you. All right. Bayport traffic, Bayport traffic. Cherokee traffic coming up to the marina. Right traffic, 1-8 Bayport. Okay, you do the whole thing. Be ready with the flaps. 10 degrees of flaps, one click, and retrim. I don't have to do it yet, right? Yeah, you can do it now. This way you're headed I'm again. Ready. Yep. As the nose coming up, push the nose back down and retrim. Relieve the control pressures. Very nice. It's going to split left river, right river, follow the right split, and stay at 500 feet, which you're doing very nice. And the power setting is nice. Everything is looking good. Paper traffic, paper traffic. 
Cherokee traffic is up to River Ray traffic, 18 Bayport. <clears throat> Coming in from the north, your side? Uh, he's going into a different airport, so I completely disregard what he's okay. saying because he's going somewhere else. He's, you got the whole airport to yourself, all right? Okay, thanks. I'll be uh, right behind you. No, I didn't talk to you. I was talking to Irving. There you go. Okay, we can go ahead and reach for another notch of flap. Let's go ahead and put another click. Now, you kept it really tight, which you're about ready to do the same thing now. You see how you're cutting it close? Yeah. Let's go to the left and give yourself, you see, all the way to the edge of the, tree, the, edge of the trees? Yeah. Nice and wide turn. This way it's not going to scare you while you're turning. Fair enough. All right. Let's go ahead and put full flaps, and let's go ahead and turn right. My uh, With a, putting it out. Make a right, yeah. Yeah, of course. Full flaps and retrim. And what, how did you call this? A hook? It's just like a hook maneuver, no? Like a hook maneuver. I like that. Let's call it a hook maneuver. That hook maneuver is called turning base. Turning bait? Turning base. Turning base. This okay. is the base leg. You see your 90 degree perpendicular. I would throttle back. Okay, ready? Let's turn final. Bayport traffic, traffic, turning final 1 8. Bayport. Alright. Let's go back. All right, you are all over the place, but it's still fun. Okay, we keep coming down, full flaps, we're good. Keep coming down, too sharp. No, nope, it's good, keep coming down. Pull. Don't pull, just hold it. Okay. Right rudder, left rudder, hold it. Just like that, hold it right there. Let it sit in there. Very nice. Keep that nose up. A little bit of excessive airspeed, but looks like we're good. Winds from the right. We're going to go a little bit left and keep that back pressure on the yoke. Can we do it again? Just like so. I think it's better, but it's not like you're comfortable. You're still a little bit nervous. Nervous. I don't know why. Is it the, the grass or the fact that it's a short... Uh, no, the, short the fact that if you don't grab the controls fast enough, I'm thinking we're going to die. Oh, it's that. Okay, I, I like you guys. I don't want you guys to die. Now I get the picture. Yeah, I won't say anything. Now I get the picture. Why? Right, does just the grass feel bad? No, it's no, not no, that. No, it's just the landing itself. The landing itself. No, okay, so it's not the grass. All right, cool. All right, that's fair enough. Let's back pressure on the yoke, just like so, and we're going to do 25 degrees of flaps, just like so, and follow that taxiway. Excellent. Naval traffic, uh, Cherokee traffic is clear, probably 1-8. Back to takeoff. Plus, it's fucking hot. I got the uh, door open. <laughs> yeah, I know. Better now? Feels uh, watch yourself. Don't mow the grass. Stay on the taxiway. There you go. <laughs> And prefer it in the middle of the taxiway, not okay. to the left of it, so don't be shy a little bit more. He's, he's not that bad. I think he's doing pretty well. Yeah, he's going to get this quick. Yeah. Now I'm not going to do anything. You're going to do the whole takeoff by yourself. Okay. All right? I'll just close the door. Remember how to make a right and make a left? Do you remember the way back here? Swing your right through the pedal. A little bit more throttle to keep the momentum. More right, more right, more right, more right, more right. Don't go on the tall grass. More right. There you go. Very nice. And then back to the left. That's it. Go away. Alright, same teardrop to the left, back to the right. Are you on the brakes or on the bottom of the pedals? The bottom, bottom, yeah, bottom of the pedals. I guess it's just cold grass, that's why it takes so much power to keep it moving. Feel how much power it needs to keep moving because the grass is tall. And it's not pavement, it's, you know. It's not as smooth as the pavement, I would say. Alright, for takeoff checklist is complete. Take it all the way, keep moving. 
I'll make a radio call for you. People traffic, people traffic, Cherokee traffic taking off on one eight people. Alright, let's take it towards departure in and right rudder. As you lining up with the runway center line, all the way to full throttle. Ready? Perfect. Now it's all you, I'm not touching anything. Take us up in the air. Excellent. Full throttle, that's the key. Stay on the center line. How many knots do we need? Bring it up, bring it up. She wants to fly, bring it up. How many knots? Oh, shit. <laughs> asking about the speed, okay? On a soft fill takeoff, you keep that back pressure until the nose coming up. And when the nose comes hey, up, you hold that pitch attitude until you actually get airborne. And you stay on ground effect. Okay, let's go ahead and retract the flaps nice and easy. I think that's better. This was a safe takeoff, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I would tweak it out a little bit. All right, next maneuver we're gonna do is climb up straight ahead towards the shoreline. shoreline. What, what do you want the altitude at? Uh, I would say a thousand feet initially is good. Like they're having fun down there with all the boats. Yeah, steady, oh man. Yeah. Hey, passenger, get in closer. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, let's see what we got. Ah, not bad. I like it. Let's pick the best one here. So, uh, the lady is totally done. No flying for her. Okay, we got traffic, 1.8, 1500 above. Let's keep an eye on this guy. Okay, as you reach the shoreline, you can go ahead and climb to 2500 and track the shoreline westbound. Okay, he's 1,000 above us, 1.8 miles. Let's keep an eye and clear the area as we're climbing. And don't be shy to stay a little bit south of the shoreline. You know, about a mile or so this way. Most of the traffic going east-west on this route stay right on the shoreline. So if you stay about a mile, 
south of the shoreline is probably going to clear you. You're more likely to clear traffic. That plane's getting closer. What's that? That plane's getting closer. One far no. We're getting close here. Yeah, getting closer. We're going to keep an eye on it. Do you see him anywhere? No, we're going to eye him. Alright, back west. That's plenty of distance. Now let's get up to 2,500 and level off at 2,500. These caution birds on and in the vicinity of the airport, all the parts except close traffic contact. Okay, the next maneuver we're going to do is an approach and landing stall. Or, as it's called on the practical test standards for private pilot, power off stall. What is a stall? Well, basically when the aircraft airspeed is going lower than the stall speed, the aircraft will stall. It's not going to drop out of the sky. We're not going to crash. Everything will be fine. There's 2,500. The only thing that's going to happen is <clears throat> the nose is going to drop. To correct for that, we're going to add full power and Decrease the angle of attack and recover. No flaps. Okay. We're going to have full flaps because it's a power off stall, which is an approach and landing stall. We just arrived in the airport. We had full flaps, so we're going to do the same thing. All right? I'm going to talk to you through the maneuver. Everything good? I think so. The reason why we do this is in case we stall the aircraft on approach and landing, we know how to do and recover with minimal loss of altitude. Is that clear enough? Yeah, it's clear. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> I was about first thing first. At the beginning, but once it's done, you're like, oh, that wasn't so bad at you all. You did stall, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah right. And then right afterwards, you're like, oh, this wasn't so bad at all. Yeah. And on the throttle, let's throttle back 1,500, just like we did on the stall, on the slow flight. A little bit more. Excellent. Right there. Reach for the flaps, look outside, keep the nose of the aircraft right on the horizon, same altitude, and full flaps all the way to 40. Excellent. Reach for the throttle, and throttle all the way back to idle while maintaining the nose of the aircraft right on the horizon. There's your traffic. There it is. You see exactly what I told you. He's following the coastline. Uh, I'm approach from jump plane 66 Echo. All my jumpers are away. I'm descending. Okay. Now it looks like you're descending. What I would like you to do is keep that back pressure on the yoke to induce the stall. The only way to induce the stall is keep that back pressure. So don't be shy if you need two hands, two hands, three hands. The level on the two horizon, feet. right? Yeah, but, you know, you're not basically holding it on the horizon. You're maintaining your altitude. That's the goal. See how you're descending? Yeah. Oops, you feel it? Yeah. There's your stall. You see, it's really not an emergency. It's just like the airplane wants to fall. Going. Is basically inducing one stall after another. Okay. Without recovering. How do I how do I recover? Okay, recover. Full power. Good afternoon, John. Let's lower the nose. Full power. Full power. Lower the nose and flap 25. Let's go back to back to back to that one. You kind of got drifted off here. And when you're ready, flap to zero. Nervous? 
is a so-so. So-so. Okay. Want me to demonstrate how to do it so it's not as nervous as it's supposed to? Okay. Okay. My controls? I want to start at 2,000 real quick. Can you get that cord? Your cord for the headset, yes. Clearing the area. Bring a maneuver checklist. Make sure there's no traffic in the vicinity. What are you doing, Pete? Just checking something. What happened to those headsets? Hey, Alpha Charlie, traffic up right for the clock rest of the mile, 2,000. Inside, Alpha Charlie. You know, uh, this is the top of the line headset, but you may not like it because of the complication of operating it. Traffic, yeah, there you go, that's why I turn. Okay, I'll show you. I'm maintaining 2,000 feet, I'm maintaining the shoreline, all right? All right. First thing first, throttle to 1,500. Flaps. Okay. Reach for the flaps while looking outside, maintaining my altitude, and reach. Uh, extending the flaps all the way to 40 degrees while maintaining 2,000 feet. I'm looking outside. I'm maintaining my reference line. 40, 40 degrees. I'm throttling back to idle to induce the stall and holding the nose up to maintain my altitude. There's my stall. Full power. 25 degrees of flaps. Reduce the pitch. The next thing is positive rate of climb. Positive rate of climb. Retract the flaps to zero. Gotcha. Very, very straightforward. If you do this on your check ride, there you go, Irving. That's your license. It's pretty, it's pretty short maneuver. I mean, it comes up quick, in like one minute. Okay, let's try it again. Pretty short maneuver. You ready? I'll talk to you through it. All right, first thing first, 2,000 feet, your controls? My controls. Your controls. 2,000 feet, hold the shoreline, throttle 1,500. Hold 2,000 feet. Reach for the flaps all the way. Now, you see how you're drifting? Keep yeah. the eyes outside and keep the shoreline so you're not drifting because okay. you've got to maintain let's the reference line. Well, Want to start it again? Zero. Okay, let's Columbia start it again. Yankee 2,000. 30, number Yankee. Approach out number 3018. 3018. You ready? Yes, sir. It's not stalling. Bring that back pressure. Don't be shy. More back pressure. There you go. There's your stall. Full power. Full power. That's not full. Okay. Now what you did here. Tried <laughs> rushing through it. He was definitely rushing through this maneuver. That was very noted. Very but I saw how fast you did it, so I tried replicating it. I think, yeah, I think you were duplicating me more than like taking it easy. But let's keep that short line. That's a good Eddie. That's a good Eddie. Over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that short line. That's a good Eddie. That's a good heading. That is a good heading. Okay, tell you what. Get to 2,000 feet, we'll do it one more time. This time, take your time. No rush. And one more thing. When you retract the flaps, initially one click to 25 degrees. Take it easy. Then all the way. Because what you did is you dumped the whole flaps. Bam. And we lost a lot of altitude while you did that. Okay. Try it again. Yep. Let's do it. Beautiful. 1,500. Next thing is flaps while holding the shoreline. Sky clear below 1, 2,000. Visual approaching east landing and departing runway 1-9-er. Notice this air missile shelter air ramp closed between taxiways Gulf 5 and Gulf 6. IFR departures. Go on. This is your IFR. Read back all runway hold short instructions. Read back all runway assignments. Read back all out. There's your stall. Full power. Tower on initial contact. You have information. One click. Romeo. There you go. 
This would be acceptable. This would be acceptable. Can I try one more? If you want. Yeah, it's up to you. You can do as many as you want. I don't like you to, you know, overdo stuff because when you overdo stuff, you get a little... Give it one more shot. Yeah, you get a little, you know... Shelter ramp closed between tech to Gulf 5 and Gulf 6. You get kind of tired of it, you know, when you do the same thing for any time. Read back all runway, hold short instructions, read back all runway assignments, read back all altitude assignments. Advise the public tower on initial contact that you have information. Romeo. Public airport information, Romeo. Time is 205 to the Zulu. Wind 190 at 12, visibility 10. Sky clear below 12,000. Temperature 232.14. Altimeter 3020. Visual approach in use, landing and departing runway 190. There it is. Go on. Keep that back pressure. With Gulf 5 and Gulf 6. More back right, pressure to get that control. More back pressure. Read back all runway, hold short. See how you're descending. Keep that altitude. There you stall. Full power. 25 degrees of flaps. Get that positive rate of climb. Traffic over there. Mission Romeo, time 205 to Zulu. Wind 190 at 1-2, visibility 1-0. Better or not really? Yeah, that was good. It's just, two, three, two, four, it's just one, that you lost a lot of altitudes. What altitude did you start at? And when I did the maneuver, you notice I lost very little altitude. Let's go right. That's Republic Airport right there. Let's see how you land on the pavement and how you do the radios. We're going to start a descent down to about 1,100 feet, which is the pattern altitude. And listen to the weather. Wind 190 at 1-2, visibility 1-0. Sky clear below 1-2,000. Temperature 232.14. Altimeter 3020. Visual approach in use, landing and departing runway 19er. Notice the airman. Shelter ramp closed between taxiways Gulf 5 and Gulf 6. IFR departures advise ground control for Texas at your IFR. Read back all runway, hold short instructions, read back all runway assignments, read back all altitude assignments. Advise the public tower on initial contact that you have information. Romeo. Romeo. Okay, we have information, Romeo, and the winds are from the south. They're using the Romeo 19. 47.5 Papa Hotel, okay. holding short uh, Bravo 19. Ready so to this take is 2100. Papa Hotel, Papa Hotel, you're number one out there. To 1100. Directly to off 75 Papa Hotel. We'd like to make uh, left. Now, this is Captured Bridge. You see where we are? Captured Bridge. Okay. That's where we are. Where are we going down to? What altitude is that? 1,100. We're going to say Republic Tower, Cherokee 43080, Captured Bridge. Captured Bridge? Captured. 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 Captured Bridge. Information Romeo Landing. Say it to me before you say it to him. Republic Tower, Cherokee 43080, Captree Bridge, Weather Romeo. Landing, landing. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, information Romeo. Hold on, let's see. Go. Republic Tower, Cherokee 43080, Captree Bridge, information Romeo, landing. Beautiful. Cherokee 43080, Republic Tower, go left down and runway 19. Left down and 19. Left runway 19, 080. Left downwind, which means your runway is off your left side and you're going downwind, the wind's behind you. How okay. come I have so much, uh, because you're out of trim? Forward. Of course. And start coming down because we need to be at 1,100 as we're entering the traffic pattern. And as you're descending, a good thing to do is throttle back so you don't over rev on the airspeed. Excellent. I see you that. see that yeah. runway over there? Yeah. That's actually runway 32. We're going to follow the extended center line of runway 32, and then we're going to turn right for the left down one one nine. All right, so keep going to the right. Straight to the to the airport, yeah, and then turn right, and then left, 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 right. right. Exactly opposite uh, of what we did over there. Over there, there was right traffic. Left down with departures approved to Julia with Yeah, it's pretty short. Yeah, he got to the airport. 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 Yeah, he Sure enough, you have Miss Knight, you're taking the runway rolling. Miss Knight, Mr. Knight, no problem. Okay, thank you.
1200. Maintain altitude. Yep. Twenty seven five Papa Hotel, frequency change approved. Change approved, seven five Papa Hotel. Don't descend below eleven hundred. Yeah, which is Westford Cherokee, two southeast, uh, in about eleven hundred feet. Traffic inside zero eight zero. Okay, he's just taking so off. He does have the inside zero eight zero. He's ten o'clock two miles from the effect of the. All right, uh, down went. No, oh, got him down. Got him inside. Five zero eight zero. He has you inside as well. You number two, clear to land, following a system mile and a half final. Number two, clear to land zero eight zero. Number two, clear to land zero eight zero. Okay, we're gonna land behind the Cessna, okay? So look to your left, look for the Cessna, and then when you see... Uh, no, in fact, Cessna. that's not a Cessna. The Cessna is way out there on the approach end. You see that white hangar? Uh, yeah. Big round hangar? Okay. That's where you're gonna see the Cessna. Don't keep it too wide. Get a little bit closer to the runway. Just in case we have an engine failure on the downwind, we'll be able to... Not a big deal, the engine's just gonna go poof. And you turn in. Now, we have the engine, I just demonstrate, I just showed you. You want me to see if I would panic? <laughs> he was calm, he was calm. Uh, he's very good, he's very good. All right, good deal. All right, that's close enough. Let's go back north. Looking good. All right, Mr. Cessna. Okay, I see the Cessna. Okay, where? Get that nose down. See those buildings? Little tiny there he Cessna. Is. Coming down. All right, just don't cut them off. Just give yourself plenty of space behind him. All right. Got it. Let's throttle back to 1500 RPM and approach in landing mode. And you can go ahead and extend the flaps to 10 degrees. One click and trim the airplane for about 90 knots. Uh, I don't know which way that is. Forward, back. Whatever it takes to relieve the control pressure while maintaining 90 knots. Let's go ahead and turn base. Another click on the flaps. Excellent. Very nice. Nice aircraft control. Not too bad. And turn on the base. Public tower, French for nine, right down there. Two nine number two, follow Cherokee, turning them off final. Alright, let's go ahead. Nice and easy when you perpendicular to the ramp. Charlie Alpha, turn right on Alpha to the ramp of me, if you like. Turn right on Alpha, there you go. Just want to get a little more in. Perfect. And we can go ahead and turn inbound, clear final. And watch your speed, a little bit too slow. Get that nose back down. And full flaps. Very nice. Your speed is good. A little bit high. Traffic in seven for nine. But it's You're really nine, number not two, that clear touching up. Because we have a long one. Number two, clear touching up. You've coming down very nice and stabilized. You look, looking good. Doing a wonderful job. Up a little bit. No, no just keep right coming car. down. You're good. A little yeah. bit more power. Looks like you're descending rapidly. There you go. That's a good power setting right there. Okay. Two red lights. That's no good. Two red means you're a little bit low. So let's get like one red one. Don't pull up without there adding power though. Add power. Yeah. You want to add power. You don't want to pull up for the lights. Add power for the lights. There you go. Add power for the lights. Exactly. Looking good. Keep coming down. Keep coming down. Keep coming down. We're landing. Keep coming down. Nose down. Keep coming down. Very nice. 
Okay, start to round up and flare, throttle back to idle, all the way to idle, hold it, back back pressure, beautiful, oh, not too much, not too little, okay, not bad, oh, now, you did the whole thing by yourself, oh, good. everything by awesome. yourself, I was just guiding you through, we're going to make a left here on alpha, and then another left, and I'll get some air alpha, alpha. Yep, yeah, this left turn here, alpha. And you can tell I'm zero, 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 zero. Left turn looks good there, and uh, to the alpha ramp with me. You can uh, alpha four, alpha two if you like. Stay with the what do I say? Left turn to the ramp. Zero, zero. Zero, zero, left turn to the ramp. Okay, you can do uh, alpha four, delta two, or golf if you like. Either one. Alpha four, delta two, golf. Alpha four, delta two, golf. Zero, eight, zero. Okay. Alpha four is this guy here. Oh, parallel. Now, uh, I can talk to you with the first change. Left two, here. Two, 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 now try to stay on the center line because you're going to end up clipping those taxi lights. There uh, you go. The center line is the uh, yellow line. Left? That way? Left, right? Uh, it's got to oh, be sure. left here uh -huh. and then a right on Delta 2. That's where I see it. And then Golf. Golf. Okay. Yep. Or straight to golf, whatever's easier for you. I'll do this right. I'll practice my rotor skills. You're doing good. Not bad at all. I feel like I did not too bad on that landing. I don't think no, you did bad. And, uh, you know what I really like? That the last landing of the lesson, left turn here. Left turn here, sorry. Yeah, this, the last, I like that the last landing of the lesson is a good one. You know? It gives you a good flavor. Yeah, we're we're at 1A out of We're at 1,200 feet by uh, Cap Tree. Uh, inbound for a landing with information Rodeo. We're going to go, go straight. We're going to 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 park at a different spot. It's going to be the first right turn. Make it right up here. Got it. Yes. <laughs> 